ready for the next witness. Thank you, Judge. We call Jacqueline Goodell. you promise or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Please have a seat. Can you please state and spell your name? Yeah, Jacqueline Goodell. J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E. Goodell, G-O-O-D-A-L-E. You go by Jackie, is that right? Yeah, you can call me Jackie. And Jeremy is your brother? Yeah. What's the age difference between you and Jeremy? Ten years. And you're older than him, is that correct? Yes. When you were younger, your family lived on a farm here in Jefferson County? Yes. What was life like on the farm? It was... A lot of hard work, and we had a lot of animals and a lot of kids. Specifically, what were your duties when your family lived on the farm? I helped take care of Jeremy a lot. I changed his diapers when he was little and fed him and did his schoolwork with him. And while my parents were doing a lot of their physical farm work. How much time did your parents spend uh, tending to the farm? Um, with the five cows and 40 goats, they milked them early in the morning and then milked them again late in the evening. Did you also help with farm work? Yeah, here and there. We, we had the brunch, weekend brunch. I think I partook in that a lot, otherwise it's Food processing from the garden, canning, not so much milking animals or feeding the animals. You were primarily useful to your family <coughs> by uh, taking care of and supporting Jeremy, is that right? Yeah, I watched all four of my younger siblings. And I think you mentioned some of these things, but at least at your time on the farm when Jeremy was young, how old would he have been at that time? Uh, he, from the time he was born until the time he was um, all five, and then he spent time in Fairfield with my mom in town. Do you know how old Jeremy would have been when your parents separated? Five. And you would have been 15 then, is that right? Yeah, I was 15. So when they separated, but before they formally divorced, your mother ended up moving away from the farm into town, is that right? Correct. And it's my understanding all of the girls moved with your mother, Christine, into town? Yes. Did Jeremy still live with Dean at the farm? Half the time. One, I think they had a one week with Dean and one week with Christine. So they alternated weeks? Yes. What was life like at your mother's house in town? It was pretty chaotic at first because we were starting from scratch. Uh, we had to get all new furniture because everything else stayed at the farm. Um, I had also dropped out of school at that time, and my mom and I opened up the Crip Escape, so we were opening up a new business at the same time as well. Did your mom also still help with uh, some of the tasks at the farm? Yes, uh, she still had to go milk the animals. And you mentioned the restaurant that your mom opened, you said that's the Crip Escape? Yes. Um, and you dropped out of school to help her with that business? Well, I dropped out of school because I wanted to and she let me and I think it was, she was okay with me dropping out because then I would be able to help her. Did that business keep Christine pretty busy? Yes, it did. 
So what were your responsibilities then while you were living with uh, your mom in town? Um, I continued to help her with the kids and I helped her with paying some bills every once in a while and I yeah, worked. I did eventually go back to school though. Were you responsible for cooking the dinner while at your mom's house in town? Yeah, and at the farm, and yeah, I would make sure the kids were always fed. How about getting Jeremy up and out the door for school? Yeah, we would all get ready, and I would have to make sure everyone could, was ready, and we would walk to school. Did you help Jeremy with schoolwork? Yes. And did you ever put Jeremy to bed? Yes, I helped put him to bed because a lot of times I was still milking animals and that continued in town. I, Jeremy and Olivia both shared a room and I would put both of them to bed. How consistent were you doing these things? Helping him get ready for school, putting him to bed, cooking dinner? How regular was that in the house? Um, I guess every week when he was at my mom's. Several nights of those weeks? Yeah. Were you in charge of supervision while Christine was out of the house? Yes. Would you say Christine had a strong focus on supervision or parenting of her children? Um, she did have rules, but she didn't quite enforce rules, and she was very lenient, and I think that's one of the reasons why all three of her oldest daughters ended up dropping out of school is because she didn't really enforce school or other rules and boundaries. So at least coming from her, it sounds like there wasn't much structure. Is that fair to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. After your parents formally divorced, your mother ended up uh, dating a man by the name of Jeff Griggs. Yes. Is that right? How did your life change once he came in the picture? Um, he changed everything. He controlled everything. He pretty yeah. He changed the way we were allowed to eat. He ch ch locked the doors at nine thirty every night, so if we weren't home, we were locked out. Um, he, well, he moved in. My mom let this him move in without even telling us. So I think we were a house full of girls and this strange man came in. I think they were maybe dating for three months. And then he took over our house. He took over our bathroom every morning. None of us could get ready for work or get ready for school. Wouldn't let us eat pork or beef. He started doing all the cooking and choosing what we were allowed to eat and locking the house at 9.30, which didn't bode well for my sister, Sophia, because she was working a waitress job at George's Pizza. And then I would have to let her in when she got off work because there was, she got locked out every night. So it sounds like he came into the picture and then very quickly took control over everything? Yes. And your mom went along with that? Yes. You and Sophia were eventually kicked out of the house. Can you tell the court about that? Yeah. Um, Well, Jeff had it out for Sophia. I think I remember there were times where Sophia would bang on the bathroom door while he was doing whatever. Um, she couldn't come back home before 9.30 because she had her job. Um, and then eventually he told my mom to call George's Pizza and get her fired from her job. And that 
that's when I think Sophia came home and was very upset and confronted my mom. And Jeff had himself in the car outside and my mom would be, go back and forth from the car to talking to us. And she kicked the food out pretty much right away. And then I got very upset that she kicked out Sophia, who was only 16, and told her, like, what are you doing? Like, why are you listening to this guy? I've raised, been at your side and raised these kids with you this whole time. Why aren't you listening to me? Taking my advice. And then, you know, she'd go back and forth from the car to confronting me. And then she said, oh, well, now you're kicked out. So then I got kicked out of the house as well. And I think that would have left just Jeremy and Olivia at the house with Jeff and my mom. Were you afforded any time to get your belongings? No, we were not allowed to get our stuff. Were there several items, um, important items, that remained in the house? Yeah, other everything. <laughs> like a like, license, we passport. got licenses, passports birth certificates and we still never got those. We had to get copies and get new passports and new licenses. Where did you go when you were kicked out of mom's house? I went to my friend Phoebe Harris and I kind of couch hopped there and I was out of living in the car a little bit until I got a uh, new job because I was still working at the crib escape so I got fired and got kicked out of the house all at the same time so I needed a new job and I needed a new place to live so then I found a nannying job and ended up living in a, with the Clevelands and took care of their grandkids. And mom didn't seem to mind that you were essentially left to couch hop and live in your car because of this? No. Do you know how your leaving affected Jeremy? Um, it probably really sucked. I, I'm pretty sure he was there for Sophia and myself getting kicked out. Um, he was in the living room with us, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, we kind of lost each other after that. He didn't have you cooking for him, helping him with schoolwork, helping him get ready anymore? Mm -hmm. Did you get to see Jeremy much after that? Um, a little bit when he was with my dad. When did Christine and Jeff move to Colorado? Um, I don't know the exact year, but it would have been when Jeremy was 10. Did you have any contact with your mom after she moved to Colorado? Um, yeah, I reached out a lot, um, specifically when I got pregnant, and then after I had my son, I wanted her to meet him, and I had sent her pictures of Dominic growing up, but she never, she never responded. Did you ever offer to travel to her so that she could see her grandson? Yeah, and she didn't want me to come. At what point did you move back in with Dean and Jeremy? Um, I separated from my husband and moved away from Davenport back to Fairfield in 2021, mm -hmm. August. So just a few months before everything that happened and what led up to his arrest? Yes. When you were living there, now in August of 21, with Dean and Jeremy, did you take on some of the household responsibilities again? Um, yes, well, I was a mom at that time, so I was definitely going to cook for my kid, and of course I was going to cook for the whole family. 
and um, I definitely wanted to help Jeremy. So um, Sophia and myself, we redid his whole room. We bought him his, we wanted him to have his own space where he could work on his school. So we bought him a new dresser and a rug and a desk and a chair. And we just wanted him to be successful at school. I mean, it was hard, and him having his own space would be important. And it was you and Sophia who went out and got him those things? Correct. You just mentioned you have a son, right? Yes. He was also living with you and Dean and Jeremy? Yes. Okay. And his name's Dominic, is that right? Yes. Okay. What was Dominic and Jeremy's relationship like at that time in August? Um, it was very, very good, very beautiful. I was, I really enjoyed seeing um, Jeremy be the older sibling type of person where he would play and take care of um, my son. They did. Um, Jeremy helped me a lot. I. He babysat Dominic a lot for me too because I was working a 12 hour night shift weekend package in Davenport and commuting back and forth to Davenport and Fairfield. So every Monday he would definitely help. He would babysit. He would make sure that we were fed and would get food for us and he had all that energy to rough house and throw Dominic around and they, yeah, they played a lot. Would you say Jeremy's a good uncle? Yes, Jeremy's a very good uncle. I think it's evident that Jeremy views you as a mother figure for him, that you've taken care of him, you've taken on some of these motherly duties. What do you think of that? I asked you to bring a project that Jeremy made about you when you were when he was younger. Did you bring that with you today? <coughs> yeah, I did. Okay. How old would Jeremy have been when he made that? Um, he would have been nine or eight. And ultimately, this is a, a photo that he created of you and uh, just a description about you. Is that right? Yeah. If you want to just go ahead and just show the court, I guess. Sorry. Can you go ahead and read what Jeremy wrote about you when he was eight or nine years old? All right, yeah. Jackie Goodell by Jeremy. Her name is Jackie. She is my sister. She lives in Iowa. She was very interested in Native Americans. She's very athletic. She found a perfect skeleton of a deer. Jackie loves the sea. She's very creative. She's also very happy and intelligent. Jackie once slept in a teepee. Every day she would fix her teepee. It was made out of grass and sticks. She is becoming a nurse. She is doing a lot of studying of the human body. Jackie likes helping people. Jackie is a great cook. Sometimes when my mom is at work, my sister will cook for me. I like how she cooks eggs. She cooks them all the way through, then puts lots of barbecue on it. She is a great sister. She is always looking after me. Sometimes she drives me to the park. We make leaf piles together. Jackie goes to school. She is in college studying medical nursing. Jackie practices very hard. She is memorizing where all the bones and muscles are. She reads a lot. Every night she is studying in her books. She learned a lot of things from her parents. She learned to cook from her mom. Sometimes she cooks meat bacon burgers and hot dogs. Jackie has many, many inner qualities. Jackie is very Severing. 
She never gives up on her homework. She is very clever. She made a really nice clay pot. She knows how to knit sweaters and scarves. She is very peaceful. Whenever my sister and I get in a whenever my sisters and I get in a fight, Jackie stops it. Jackie is always happy. I never see her down or sad. She is also smart, brave, and wise. Jackie is an amazing sister. She is the best sister anyone could wish for. Where do you usually keep that project? Since Jeremy was arrested, have you made contact with him? Yeah. <clears throat> I see him whenever I can. And are you able to communicate with him over the phone as well? Yes. Will you continue to be a major support system for Jeremy as he works to improve himself while in the prison system? Yes. Nothing further, Your Honor. You are a, a nurse, is that right? That's correct. Are you an RN? I'm a licensed practical nurse. And wh where do you work? Um, I don't know, I'm not sure of that, just because I have gotten some really bad death threats. And okay, that's fine. Do, do you work locally here? Um, within my travel, and I also work within 30 minutes of the therapy field. That's fine. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. That's all the questions. Okay.